Hi guys and welcome to another comparison on Zig Wheels and today we have with us the Elantra and the Superb. Is that a comparison? No, just fooling you. What we're going to be talking about is actually the Android phone and the iPhone. Comparing phones on Zig Wheels? Nah, I got you again. What we are actually talking about is Android Auto versus Apple's CarPlay. And there's a third system called Mirror Link. And we're going to be talking about that as well. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Elantra, which has both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay in its infotainment system. Now, you notice I've got these cables with both these phones because to use Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, you need to connect them through the cables. So let's go check out the Elantra system first and then we'll get to the superb system. So to use Android Auto, first you take your phone and you take the USB cable and then plug it into the USB slot down here and then switch on the car. It says Android Auto is connected. Confirm. Now I get this interface first on the Elantra screen. I'm just going to mute the volume, the radio is playing. And on this interface, you'll see that it has an option for all the menus of the Elantra system. Uh, where you get all the options that shows including navigation, phone and all that. But we're not talking about that, we're talking about Android Auto. So I come here to Android Auto and when I switch on Android Auto, what it does is that first you've got to, of course, accept this notification. You can always turn that off later. What it does, it, it takes up only a few of the things which I have on my phone and displays it on the central screen. For instance, here it's showing me my WhatsApp messages. It's showing me some audio. Now, if you'd notice, audio is only available uh, from uh, Google Play Music. I can't really play third-party apps using uh, Android Auto. And, of course, it also has uh, uh, navigation, which is Google Maps, which is... Uh, I'm just going to start the car because... And, of course, incoming phone calls. Um, the phone call coming in, which I'm just going to take for a minute. go back to your phone you get uh, your entire phone menu here voicemail dial number call history all that comes up over here uh, hit the home button you come back to the home screen this is the Android uh, home uh, Android Auto home screen uh, it also shows you traffic information now that is something very useful uh, getting your traffic information on Google live traffic if I touch that it shows me uh, my route to home Head northeast towards Rajesh Pilot Road. And the amount of time I'm going to take, depending on the traffic. And as I drive, I can see any sections of red and green appearing on the map, telling me how much traffic there is. And that is a very useful feature of Android Auto. Something that the inbuilt navigation system of the Elantra will not show you. It, it's got, uh, I think, maps from Map My India, and it's a very nice interface. But it will not show you live traffic. And that's something I like about Android Auto. Um, we talked about uh, navigation, we've got the phone menu, we've got the Android home screen and back to the main uh, system. And you know, that's about it. I can't really use any third party app. So Android Auto, I mean for all the hype that it had, I would think it's still fairly basic. Most car systems, for instance this Elantra system does pretty well. If you look at the, it's got like the split screen. Thing. it gives you navigation on one side your radio here I can you know go to individual screens and get a complete uh, thing for the radio or if I want navigation I pull up navigation entirely over here to select destinations and it's got the map over here uh, it also of course integrates the reverse camera and other things over here so I mean th it, that way this car system as it is is brilliant and then it gives you an option of using and either Android Auto or Apple CarPlay now I'm going to try out Apple CarPlay as well with this. For that, I'm just going to have to disconnect my Android phone and connect the iPhone. So now I'm going to be connecting the iPhone to the Elantra system. And if you just notice over here, it gives me uh, an option for connectivity. What kind of things I can use to connect. Right now, since I was using an Android phone just before this, it says enable Android Auto. I can uncheck that. I can go to Apple CarPlay, enable Apple CarPlay, and then again, 
use the USB cable and connect the iPhone to the car. All right, reading USB device. Apple CarPlay connected. Home screen, it shows me the option of Apple CarPlay. When I hit Apple CarPlay, I need to unlock the iPhone to start the CarPlay. As you can see now, it's uh, reflecting some of the apps that we have on the iPhone on the center screen of the uh, Elantra's uh, infotainment system. You have this, which takes you back to the home screen, which is the Hyundai logo. Come back to CarPlay, I can access the phone. Yeah, so I get the whole phone interface again over here. Back the Siri. Now uh, Siri uh, can show me show me contacts. Is the uh, button if you long press, you go to Siri, and then you have it's also the home button. Typically, uh, the Apple style home button that you have over here, that little logo. Um, music, again, stuff that's on your phone, you can use. Apparently, there's a way you can use third-party apps also with Apple CarPlay, but this at the moment is not supporting it. So I'm getting only the uh, music that's there on the phone. Messages, podcasts, audiobooks, and okay, I'm gonna mute that. So this basically is uh, Nickel SJ's iPhone, and he's got like you know, some fantastic taste in music. So just a taste of that. Okay, so we've talked about Android Auto and we've talked about Apple CarPlay. Now for Android Auto, you need to download the Android Auto app on your phone. Whereas for Apple CarPlay, it's inbuilt, you just plug and play. So that's one little handy difference over there. Now there's a third system and that is there in the Skoda Superb. Let's go check that out and that's Mirror Link. The nice and spacious Skoda Superb. Now the Superb's infotainment system also has uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So just going to turn that on. Yeah. Uh, so now in the Skoda Superb, you have not just Android and Apple CarPlay. You also have something called MirrorLink. Now what MirrorLink does is that it just takes all the apps on your phone and mirrors it on the screen over here. So basically you can operate the apps on your phone from the screen on the car and so that's kind of uh, between Android Auto and uh, Apple CarPlay where it's not that convenient because you know things like Android Auto and Apple CarPlay you can use voice commands and you know get navigation and pull up menus make calls all that just using voice commands with mirror link you need to you know use the uh, device interface now unfortunately mirror link is not working on this device which is uh, an Android phone let me just try it once more with the Apple phone so now I'm going to connect the iPhone and see if I can get this to use mirror link instead of the uh, Apple CarPlay. So just plug in the USB and nope. By default, when it recognizes an iPhone, it goes into Apple CarPlay. You get the same things that you see in the Elantra, the same options come up here instead of Hyundai, of course, it says Skoda. Has to, I mean. Uh, but one thing I noticed. What Android Auto has and this doesn't is navigation, strangely enough. Uh, and I find the navigation options on Na Android Auto pretty good because it also shows you uh, traffic and it uh, gives you estimated time to reach home. So that I find very useful. Apple is more media oriented. So you get like multiple choices of music, what's playing. Um, you, can, you can also read your messages and of course audio books can be read out to you podcast so this is more of entertainment well that is more of uh, utility value in Android Auto so that's one basic difference I found between these two things so so there you have it guys uh, Android Auto versus Apple CarPlay no big benefits with both it's except that it gives you a little more, a little more convenience in terms of connecting with your car's infotainment system Android Auto one big advantage is the navigation feature because it pulls up Google, Google Maps and it shows you live traffic and it also picks the fastest route for you. So that is a big advantage which uh, Android Auto has that the Apple CarPlay system doesn't have. Apple CarPlay is more infotainment oriented so it gives you all your music options over there and you can select what kind of uh, music you want to listen to. All that gets pulled up on the screen. So I think yeah, the difference between the two, one is a little more infotainment heavy, the other one is more utility value. So that's between 
uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And then you also have a third system which uh, the Skoda Superb has which is MirrorLink and that allows you to mirror the apps on your phone on the car's system. That unfortunately wasn't working when I tried to demo it but that's the third connectivity option you have. So if you guys uh, let me know which ones uh, you would prefer, you can either come to the Zigbee's forum and join the discussion on this topic or let us know in the comments below on this Facebook page. Thanks for watching.